welcome back to Candy Apple's Next Top Model. We're down to the final four now, and things are getting quite interesting. The collared order is definitely going to be shooken up, but I'll get to that in a second. So, uh, let's get to our permanent judges. We have Justin from Existence Productions. We have Jane Doe, former owner of Perfectly Chaotic and NTMer. We have Laura Madison from Revive Contest. She um, she also won cycle one. Then we have Miss Tori Tastic, owner and host of Model Wars. Then we also have Amanda Marie from Easy Breezy. And this week's guest judge is definitely someone I was excited about. Um, she's kind of from a different genre of site. She's kind of new to the NTMs, but she definitely has an eye for what works and what doesn't. And that is Miss Haley. This week the models had to do three different photos. Um, I tried to get three different aspects of modeling in each photo and surprisingly enough I don't feel like there was anyone who really rocked all three sections but I can't wait to hear what you have to say. So first up let's go with they had a color beauty shot. Um, I let first call out and second call out kind of pick their colors and then I pick the rest at random. The first person to pick was Katie. Katie chose blue. Katie, we all loved your photo. There honestly wasn't anything we didn't like about your photo. Um, even a couple of the judges said that it felt like you were peering through us, like you were looking into our souls. We really liked that. Alright, next up is Heather. Um, Heather was assigned yellow. Um, Heather, a lot of the judges... Well, just about all of the judges. The expression was really lackluster and we felt like you should have done so much more. And some of us didn't quite understand why you were laying down. Then maybe that actually took away from the photo. Next up, we have Esme who was assigned green. Esme, as a photo, this is gorgeous. Um, we definitely all loved this as a photo. As a beauty shot, we felt like I felt like maybe you didn't understand what the assignment was because this is a full body photo and I wanted a headshot, a beauty shot. So that definitely hurts you a little bit. Um, and it wasn't really edgy, it was just cute and beautiful. Alright. And last but not least for this category, we have Victoria. Victoria, your photo is very reminiscent of two of my beauty shots. Oh, by the way, you picked red. Um, two of my different beauty shots, I did one where I kind of had like blood splatter on my face and it kind of reminded me of that, but the way your eyes were definitely reminded me of my redo of Alison Harvard's um, photo. So everyone definitely loved your photo this week. They felt like your eyes just popped in this picture. Alright, their next assignment was a full body silhouette. Um, I told them they could kind of edit it or they could kind of do it naturally. I really want a natural, but a lot of the models picked to edit their silhouettes. Um, let's look at Asmi's first. Asmi, I edited your silhouette and I really liked the pose until I started editing it and kind of realized your leg kind of sucked up into your body, that scrunched up leg in the back. But I definitely loved the cross that you were holding and I loved the pose. So. I enjoyed it, everyone else kind of hated the leg and kind of focused on that. Um, next up is Victoria. Victoria, a lot of people really liked your photo because you went with a natural instead of unedited. Um, I think you kind of look like a high fashion lion with a tiara and I like it. I just, again, I feel like, you know, kind of maybe your leg got sucked up just like Esme's did. Um, next up is another edit, which was Katie. Katie, <laughs> everyone, you did your own edit, so I kind of told them that. Um, and everybody said that that one hand, where your hands kind of edited funky, was killing them. I did show them the original unedited version, and we felt like maybe there could have been a better location for you to take it to kind of give it more of a natural lighting and a natural feel. Um, next up, actually last, but certainly not least, is Heather. Heather, out of all the photos you sent this week, we feel like this was the best. Um, this was definitely your genre. Um, I actually got the idea from your NTM, the silhouette photos. So, you definitely rocked it. This is a gorgeous photo and no one had any complaints. Alright, and last but certainly not least was um, Candy Apple kind of focuses on strong positive role models and I kind of wanted to know what 
what charities or causes or organizations you guys were really passionate about. So you each have to do a either a full body or a three-fourths kind of shot. I just didn't want a headshot for this. So, Esme, let's look at yours first. Esme, you were against bullying. You didn't have an actual cause, or like charity, but you had a cause. Um, everybody's against bullying. I like the photo. I like that you kind of went with that kind of torn up, raggedy feel, and you definitely have the makeup, but a lot of a lot of people felt like it was boring. You were just sitting there with a sign, um, and you could have had a different outfit. Um, so, I think it was kind of about preference, and I, but I do have to agree, your pose is a little blah. Alright, next up we have Heather. Heather, you did Tom's, which is a charity, from what I researched, um, is a charity that every time you buy a pair of shoes, it gives a pair of shoes to someone who needs it, which I definitely thought was an awesome cause. Um, one of the judges suggested maybe you could have done something where you were actually giving a pair of shoes to a child or something like that, but I know you didn't really have a child to work with, so we just felt like maybe it was awkward with the placement of the flag and kind of the angle of your body. I felt like there was a little something more you maybe could have done with that. Alright, next up was is Katie. Katie, you did um, S. PCA is um, I'm definitely against the cruel, cruel treatment of animals. Um, we definitely thought this was gorgeous. You definitely look like a model even in your common clothes with your kitty. Um, but the one complaint people had was that maybe there was a little too much going on and everything else in the photo kind of outshined you. So, alright, and last but certainly not least in this category is Victoria. Victoria, you did for PETA, which PETA is known for having extreme photos. Um, everyone really loved that you went to a massive extreme this week. I mean, you went out there, you got dirty, you got the props, you, you know, you loved your photo, basically. Um, so, anyway, so Victoria, your photo was epic. That's all I have to say. Um, with that being said, we definitely looked at your past portfolios, or we're definitely going to look at your, your portfolio so far for this cycle. Um, we're definitely going to look at and compare all of you because this is going to be a really hard decision because whoever makes it from here on out is going to be in the finale. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so... Are off to deliberation, and when we get back from deliberation, we'll find out who will continue on in the hopes of becoming Candy Apple's next top model. The celebration has been really complicated. Um, I definitely, I feel like the less girls we get, the more complicated it gets because we really want to make sure we pick the right winner. And at this point, we really wanted to make sure we picked who we thought could perform the best in the finale. So, first call out this week goes to someone whose photos, although she waited till the last minute, her photos definitely came out on top. In almost every category. And that model this week is Victoria. Congratulations. Second call out this week goes to someone who wasn't doing so hot, wasn't doing real great, and then all of a sudden she shined in two of three of the photos, um, and that model definitely has been doing better ever since she vowed she would do better. So, second call out this week and guaranteed a spot in the final three is Katie. Congratulations. Now, that leaves me in the bottom two of Heather and Esme. Now, I do want to mention that whoever gets eliminated gets to guest judge for the final three. Um, so I guess it's kind of a okay prize for getting this, for getting this bar. It really came down to, between your photos and your portfolios, whose photos have been more interesting, whose photos have been more consistently good. Um, you both had some really good photos. You definitely both have had great photos. Um, but you guys have both had a lot of okay photos. And so, that really leaves me with 
who do I think and who do the judges think could perform against, um, who could definitely hold their own against Katie and Victoria. Heather, with you trying not to take the last couple cycles into perspective, but you're definitely not a newbie. Um, you've definitely taken some really epic photos. I mean, you made it to the final two last cycle. But this cycle, I mean, I know there's other things going on, but your photos have been kind of lackluster, to say the least. Um, they've been okay. You've had some good photos. But are they enough to be able to compete against Katie and Victoria? Now, as me with your photos, um, a couple of them have bored the judges, according to some of the judges. Um, but you've had a first call-out. You've had a bunch of second call-outs. Um, you've won some some challenges. You've been doing pretty good. I mean, you've been pretty consistently good. So, who do I, who do we eliminate? Do we eliminate when she's good, she's really good? Or do we eliminate when she's okay, she's okay, and when she's bad, she's not so great? <laughs> it was a really tough deliberation, but the model who will continue on into the finale with Victoria and Katie and will continue on in the hopes of becoming Candy Apple's next top model is Esme. Heather, that means you've been eliminated, but you definitely get to judge the final three. Congratulations, everyone, and good luck.